So initially I asked if it could have uh, large frets and you know, obviously it would take even longer. And I will say they save up to four months. Um, mine came sooner than that, it was roughly half. But um, I probably, if anything I would change on this, it would be that I would put a larger fret on it. Just because the medium frets, to me, I can get the action super low, it's awesome. But it really, you really got to be like a master player and you got to have your fingers. Now, granted, by playing this and learning stuff on this guitar because of the medium frets, it'll probably, you know, increase my skill or anybody's skill um, to get that, that, you know, your strumming and so forth. And dummy, um, even just basic chords. You start doing your pick. Do your runs. It's very easy to kind of like see how I did that. I I'm used to the larger fret, so I deaden out a lot of my strings just because it's a little harder to play because it's got the medium frets. Nothing against the guitar. Um, and just the playability to me, it with a larger stainless steel fret, probably would have been better for me. Or, you know, it would have made it easier to play. Only thing I would change on this guitar. Um, the other thing I noticed is when you got, it's got like, it's really, I mean, that's really low for a small uh, acoustic guitar. certain chords you get this really deep low on this G. Yeah, so it, when you go from E, you get that real deep, and then you go to G. It seems like when you fret that top E string, you kind of lose some of that bass, and I'm not sure if that's just because of the, uh, the smallness of the body. Uh, but I know from, you know, back in the day when we all had those big, you know, stereo systems in our car and we had the bass boxes in there and you only had so much space in your hatchback you would, you would stuff your box with some uh, foam egg crate so I, I might try dabbling around with that throw that in here and see if it makes it feel like or make it sound like it's like that big x30 that they have um i'll, I'll definitely gonna give that a go and I'll report back on if that works or not. But that was the only other thing I noticed is you have know, this really thick, deep bass, and then when you fret it, you kind of lose it a little bit. It's not that bad, but it's just something I noticed. And like I said, each guitar has got its own sound and characteristics to it. And I knew I wasn't getting an X30, I knew I was getting something that was playable when I can go all the way up to the 12th fret on the on the upper E string. Very easily. Uh, which I think is great. Because uh, like I said, uh, for practicing the stuff that you play on an electric, if you can play on an acoustic, you're pretty good. And I know in the 90s there, everybody went acoustic there. And you would you would hear the songs. You no, nah, that's not it. You know they were they were playing on a 24 fret electric guitar, and they only had 20, 22 frets on their uh, acoustic. Um, so and back then, and depending on who the guitar tech was, you know their 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 action might have been yay big or this big. Um, so, but definitely happy with the guitar. Couldn't believe how light it was. And for the amount of the weight and knowing how sturdy it is, it's awesome. This is great. And for the setup, that, I mean, like I said, the setup is, let's see if I can get it. I mean, I got it pretty friggin' low. Um, it pretty much, it's a little higher than my electrics, but you know, I put my electrics a lot lower. And with electric, you can get away with buzzing a little bit because it's all amplified. Um, with the acoustic you want a little higher so it can ring out, but the other thing is the sustain on this thing. I mean, 
that's pretty damn good. You know, 